Hello Libra, welcome to your January 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Yannack. You're watching Thomas' Tower Reading. Please like, subscribe and share. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. I love my coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. In any case, what we will do here, Libras, is the following. We will separate <laughs> the um, the reading in, uh, in sections so it's a bit easier for you to understand what the guys are actually saying. It also gives you a bit more information. We will look at the overall energy for the months of January 2023 for the sign of Libra before we then look into your emotional core. The emotional core is about maybe there's trauma that can go, um, something that needs to be released can be released now or and or um, it's about love. right? Um, and then lastly, we look at opportunities. Opportunities for the most part are about what sustains you financially. That said, um, money is not a spiritual f uh, currency, so it cannot be manifested. What the reading will do when you look at opportunities is more about also um, how um, whatever it is you do for a living affects your um your, your being, right? So in any case, we do all this, and what I'm what I'm what I'm going to do this month, and I have no idea if I if I uh, keep that up or not. <laughs> I will not use cards. Um, I have decided this month I will use my galaxy balls. Um, they're like they're crystal balls, but they have resin in it, and the resin, when you tilt them, it makes different shapes. To me, they look like gal galaxies, which means it's astrology related and it is much easier to actually connect to the sign I'm actually reading. So that's why I'm using the galaxy balls for um, this very reading, dear Libras. Now, before we do any of this, I'm going to show the, 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 I have two here and I don't quite know which one to use yet. But before I want I, I wanted to do this, just a little word just between you and me, Libra. I um, said that earlier in the introduction here that every every reading, so before I did this, obviously you saw this already, um, I did a little introductory part um, just to explain the number seven. Now you are the seventh sign. You are seven. And seven is the highest number of protection and healing. You are also associated with seven. Therefore, being in a seven year and being the seventh sign, please understand that Libra. You have a head start, an energetically, an energetic, an energy head start that a lot of signs do not have this year. This is your year where you can shine. I know as a sign, Libra is associated with, with the scale, associated with harmony. You really want harmony above anything else. And it's not the easiest to achieve. As a matter of fact, achieving any equilibrium in life um, it's tough, but you are the sign that goes the extra mile to get there. And all I'm saying is make make sure that you understand that from the get-go, whatever the guides are saying here in January, is stronger for you because when it comes to doing something about stuff, you have an any extra energy that is with you the entire year of 2023 because 2023 is a seven year and you are the seventh sign that is fucking awesome right here we go so like i said i have these two galaxy balls and i have different ones because they represent different areas <clears throat> ah, here we go <laughs> i have the dolphin one and the dolphin one isn't it beautiful the dolphin one is about perception. How do you see the world? How does the world see you? This galaxy ball, if I should I choose to read it, whatever you hear me say, whatever the guides give me, and I will then say to you, because medium means the guy in the middle, I only work here, you have to look at it, or you ought to look at it from, from the perspective of being in the thick of it. Where am I in the scheme of things? What does that mean with regards to the life I'm already living? Right? That would be the dolphin one. And then the other one that I'm having here, that I have here, 
is the Dragon Galaxy Ball. See this? Beautiful. In any case, the dragon is associated with the element of water. The other thing that the, the dragon is associated with is gold, which is a conduit, which means this is more about how you feel within. So everything you hear me say, should I, should I be more drawn to this guy? Is to see it from how do I really feel about it, right? So this is the difference between these two. Um, I have them both here. I'm not planning these things. Um, I said I'm going to record all the all the, 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 the readings and um, that's the ones that wanted to be read. I only work here. And I mean that because medium is the guy in the middle and I literally only work here. <laughs> Whatever the guide suggests, I will do. And um, you know when you do what I do, uh, a lot of people are drawn to a specific deck on a specific day. And because they're part of my toolbox, I was drawn to these two. And then whatever sign comes in, somehow I'm drawn to one over the other, which gives you a bit of an extra um, um, tip as to how to see and how to assess um, the messages that you are being given, right? So actually, guys, I'm drawn to the, um, for Libra, I'm actually drawn to the, can't talk. <laughs> I think I need another sip of my coffee. To the dolphin one. So, where are you in the scheme of things? See it from a point of view about what am I actually doing already with my life? How, how can I um, make things better when I realize where I'm at at this point in time? Now, we're looking at the overall energy for... The months of January 2023 for the sign of Libra, the seventh sign in the seventh year. Now, I am really drawn to a massive part of your being, but it's on the opposite of my vision. And I don't feel that if I would turn it around and, listen and look at it much closer, it would work. Therefore, the first message for you as the overall energy for January 2023, I really told you just now, that you are in a seven year and you are the seventh sign. And it is important with whatever it is you're doing to elevate yourself, see things from a higher point of view, right? Where am I in the scheme of things? How much, is, uh, how much does this affect me? So in overall, because it's the overall energy for the months ahead, if you see things, um, from a bigger picture point of view, where is this going? Where is this leading? What does that mean? If you are if you are asking more questions of that thought uh, in in this very month, um, you will get many more answers. So, what doesn't work in January twenty twenty three for the sign of Libra is to just do whatever it is you have done all the time and be. In sort of a, a microcosm, it doesn't work for you, right? So in January, over energy is to detach yourself a little bit. Look at, um, are you still happy where you are? And if not, maybe that's the time now to make things work and make changes. Okay, now we're looking at your emotional core. See what can go. Maybe there's love coming in. So let's have a look. Same thing, I'm drawn to a massive planet as it is. Okay, this is actually Pluto, I'm looking at Pluto. And um, <coughs> the interesting thing here is that Pluto is the, is the outermost planet of our Milky Way. And he has an erratic orbit. So what that means is most planets, when they, um, when they go along the eclipse, uh, the ecliptic, they have a specific amount of time that they spend inside a sign. But Pluto spends between 18 and 30 years in a sign. And when and as it approaches or orbits the sun, we only know um, of Pluto's, uh, or, or let's put it this way, we always have known about Pluto, but 
it has only been found, Pluto has only been found in 1930, and it takes him 248, 248 years to actually orbit the Sun, so he hasn't made an orbit yet, even, right? So, as far as we are concerned, it's the outermost planet, right? But um, from our point of view, it's a newbie, it's a new one. And when I see Pluto here, it's understanding, and this is what the universe always says to us, we're still children. We still, um, you know, stumble and fall. And with regards to your emotional core, you know, feel whatever it is you want to feel. Right? Really, really important. Um, yeah, see, see how you how you truly feel about things. And also, what I'm getting is is to not sounds wrong. It doesn't work in January if you're throwing yourself into a situation and then are super attached to someone, it doesn't quite work. Your energy here in January is more about growing into a situation. So the point would be you would probably be have to you would probably have to be upfront with people and say, you know, if you are in a relationship, tell them that you need a bit of space. And if you are manifesting a, a relationship, tell them that you need a bit of space. <laughs> right? What I'm what is interesting here is you're not you're not lost you're damaged just like everybody else we are all damaged goods but you're not broken i'm getting this strongly because um from my vision here is just because pluto has now been demoted to a dwarf planet right that was done by humans right based on on on, on a system in the kuiper belt where pluto actually sits he is still the largest object there so you're not broken. You're, you're, you're not. You just at times feel a bit misplaced. And I'm, I get that. And when it comes to, to love, because this, is, this isn't about trauma for you here. This is about love. It's understanding that in order for you to feel that you belong in a relationship, right? It's important. Obviously, you're Libra. You want harmony. But this will have, this has to be and always was going to be a thing of progress, little by little, right? So you can't rush anything. Yes, maybe it's time to look at, okay, we've been doing this for 10 years, you know, and nothing is really happening here. So that is something that you could be looking at and say, okay, so based on where I, where I am in the scheme of things, maybe this isn't quite working. But then the, the trick is to have a conversation, right? Because what I'm not getting is here is to abandon what you have just yet. Again, you have free will, don't quote me on it. right? And also, um, I always say, it sounds a bit weird, you know, I'm doing these readings, I do readings for a living, and this is my free service to you. And I hope I make a lot of sense, right? Um, feedback has been great over the years. But my point is, it's just advice. And you can take it or leave it. You know, I, I, I am um, a professional reader, and I don't live my life by what the guides tell me. Right, I take it the way it resonates, and that's what I'm saying to you here: is is you know take it the way it resonates. Right, really, really important. So don't live your life by a reading, but at the same time, please understand that what the guides are doing here is is to to look deep inside you, and 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 assess energy for you, and therefore give you advice. Right, really, really important, um, because Pluto is the oddball out. Um, and it doesn't feel to me that you're the oddball. It doesn't also me. It doesn't also feel. It does not feel to me at all that you're sort of um, different. You're not different. You're just unique. You have to find your tribe. Make sure you're only spending time with people where you can talk about whatever the fuck it is you want to talk about without feeling weird about it. That's your tribe. Okie dokie. So that's that. Now, let's look at the overall energy for the months ahead. And there isn't much here. Overall energy means that opportunities are not coming your way. They are already there. So look at what is already in your life and make that work. That's what I got for you. Okie dokie, Libra. That's all we got time for. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Please, please, please subscribe. And then I see you all next month. Bye-bye.